Good afternoon. Today is March 23rd, 2018. So let's jump into some good news here. Yahoo Japan to launch cryptocurrency exchange in 2018. According to Nikkei Asian Review, the Japanese internet firm will take a 40% stake in BitArg or BitARG exchange Tokyo next month with a plan to build a new exchange using BitARG technology in approximately a year's time. As well, Joseph Muscat, who is the Prime Minister of Malta, tweeted this out, we aim to be the global trailblazer in the regulation of blockchain-based businesses and jurisdiction of quality and choice for world-class fintech companies. So it's cool to see him welcoming uh, Binance to his country. That's always great news to hear. Uh, and then we came upon this article that I just thought was interesting, uh, more so than anything. Uh, college students are using student loans to invest in Bitcoin. Uh, and I think it said here about one-fifth. Yeah, so one-fifth of a, thou a thousand students polled by the Student Loan Report, a website that reports on debt issues from the perspective of students, said that they have ha they have used some of the money set aside for their living expenses to invest in cryptocurrencies. Young Americans are certainly the most enthusiastic about cryptocurrency. They're the most active investors and want to get involved in the space in any way possible. I graduated from college a few years ago. However, even when I was in college, you know, th that was actually the first time I ever heard about Bitcoin specifically. Uh, I believe it was, the, it was in 2014. My roommate actually had, had warned me. He said, hey, you should probably get into Bitcoin, look into it. This is back in 2014. And I never did end up investing in crypto until about halfway through 2017. I wish I would have uh, taken his advice. As far as pricing and the charts, you know, there's not much to talk about. Basically, I did just want to um, add on to what I talked about yesterday regarding this death cross. Uh, if these two 200-day and the 500-day moving averages would cross each other, doesn't necessarily mean that there would be a big price drop incoming. Uh, and in my personal opinion, regarding this triangle here on Litecoin, and we see it on Bitcoins as well, I still do believe that it's possible, you know, within the next week we could see a breakout. Either way, if you're watching this video, you probably don't care too much about price because, like I said, most people that really only care about the price probably aren't even watching these videos currently. But yes, everyone have a good Friday. Uh, also, please be sure to check out the Litecoin Foundation's newest video. I had the opportunity to do the second episode, uh, and it was really fun, and I'm really grateful. I was a little nervous, but it was, it was totally worth it. I will leave a link in the description and in the comments, so please feel free to check that out. Give it a like, and make sure to subscribe to the Litecoin Foundation.